Okay, YouTubers, this is the Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching the Angry Truth channel. So I have to ask this question. How is this not an invasion? Now, guys, we have endless illegal immigrants flooding into this country on a daily basis. There is an absorbent amount of people that are flooding into this country and obviously over time will make matters worse right so if this boat is the lifeboat of the world if this country rather sorry is the lifeboat of the world if we keep taking in these poor immigrants that need help what's going to happen to this lifeboat eventually it's going to flip over and then no one's going to be saved and we're definitely headed in that direction now i find it interesting guys that these illegal immigrants are coming here and you have all these democrats talking about how they make this country better why do they make this country better when they haven't added anything to this country? Now, there are certain illegal Im immigrants, sorry, that come here. They get their papers, they get working, and they do, in essence, help out making this country better. They don't make this country better. They help out or add to it, whatever it might be. And I don't think picking oranges and fucking apples make this country better other than they're providing a service, which is feeding the rest of the country. But they're providing a service that's already been established. To make something better means that when you get here, you add to its value. Illegal immigrants are not adding to the United States value at all. So the falsehood of how they make this country better is bullshit. Secondly, and more importantly, how are they making our country better when they can stay in their country and make that better? They can make their country better by fighting for what they believe in they can make their country better by taking a stand against the tyranny that's in their country but instead they come here and then start their bullshit they get over here and go oh we need more spanish holidays mira mira bing 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 right and then they go oh we like rice and beans we want to have rice and beans on this menu when they're staying at certain shelters here in new york city they have complained about the food believe me now granted some of the food they were being served was shit. i have to give that to them but when you start complaining about how you don't have enough ethnic food that makes you an asshole you left your tragic war-torn war country to come here to then complain about the food's not right you don't like the lifestyle suck it up fucko you fucking just walked a thousand miles to get from venezuela or whatever it was to here the other thing is a lot of people not calling out on how are these fat fucks walking that many miles how it is hundreds of miles 50 miles whatever it is you should be all skinnied out by the time you get here. Fucking Maria, who was fucking 250 pounds at 5'3", should be fucking 181 pounds, or sorry, 150 pounds by the time she gets here to the United States. But no, Maria's still at the current weight she left fucking whatever country she came from. All of these people are not emaciated, which is crazy. And even if you ate, your body doing all of that walking, which has never done before, is going to shed weight, period. That is how it works. But somehow, these fat fucks are still crossing the border as fat fucks, rolling across the fucking border and, you know, rolling through the walls like fucking pit. Like, it's insane how fat these fucks are coming through the border. And their kids shouldn't be walking across. They should be getting carried across because they're so emaciated themselves. Kids burn at calorie at a higher rate. But I don't want to get into that. What I want to get into is the bullshit that they keep telling us. Now, granted, guys, this video, whatever other videos made, is not going to stop these immigrants from coming across the border. It, is, it just isn't. It doesn't work that way. right? We need politicians to lay down the law. You got these guys, these Republicans and the conservatives shaking their fists, but they're not doing anything. They're not making any active steps. They're not initiating anything. They just keep crying and screaming in the social media on their TikTok or their Instagram. They don't take this shit to the fucking Senate or Congress or anything or to the Supreme Court. And yeah, some of them might, but it's half-assed. Let's do this policy. You got to implement some hard shit to get this shit to stop. You need dudes armed at the gates. You need to weld up every hole you possibly can. And then in certain cases, drop paintball on them as a warning before shit gets real. Because you give them the heads up. Hey, these are paintballs. The next one are going to be real rounds. And maybe they'll listen. But because there's no one stopping them, they're coming across the border laughing, smiling, giving a peace sign to the fucking cameras as they're passing by. And we're sitting here, and Democrats are sitting here going, well, they do add value to it. They don't add shit to our, our, 
country. Zero value. Listen, we got enough Americans that are not adding any value to this fucking country. We got enough of that. We don't need more people adding less value. Or not adding value at all, rather. Sorry. Something needs to be done. And the crazy shit is nothing's going to be done. Now, if Trump makes it in the office, which I am so on the fence that he might not because of the way the shit's going, or rather, the way they're going after him. If he gets in the office, he's going to make some major changes and slow a lot of shit down. Now, I do see the Democratic Party, and someone dropped this bug in my ear, and I was like, that's a possibility. There is a possibility that the Democratic Party is going to make all of these illegal immigrants that are currently here now United States citizens without dropping a fucking, without going through any real paperwork, without filling anything out, just showing up at an office, going, see, si, senor, and then they give you a piece of paper, you're an American citizen. Now go join the military or police force. I could see that happening because that would be the only thing to keep them in power. Flooding these people in, giving them instant citizenship so that they can vote Democrat and beat out whoever they need to beat out for the next foreseeable future. Though, even those people, illegal immigrants, who might become citizens automatically, even though, let's say after four years, they're going to look around like, these fucking Democrats are full of shit. They haven't done a thing. But Democrats don't do anything. They just make life harder for Americans. They don't make it easier. They are habitual thorns in American sides, is what they are. This is all they do. I haven't seen a Democrat make life easy for anybody. Look at major cities that have Democrat mayors running it. Life is harder. You got to fucking walk down the street looking over your shoulder now. You got to walk down the street and tell crackheads to get the fuck out of here. You can't be smoking across the street from the school. A lot of this shit's going on because of the Democratic mayors that we have. And they are the case in point and proof that countries and cities cannot be run by democrats at least not these democrats there's probably a democrat out there that's like level-headed and could be like all right this has gone too far but it's funny even when a democrat starts saying shit like that all of a sudden he's conservative and a republican because he's thinking opposite these people have shown and proved every time that they are not worthy of the seats they sit in but whatever this illegal immigration problem is just going to get worse. And even if Trump gets in office, he's going to slow it down. He can't stop it. I mean, if he, if he wants to stop it, he can. But to stop it is going to look ugly. And you guys know what I mean. Anyway, guys, this is the Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching the Angry Truth channel.